In this tutorial, I am going to show you very simple and very creative trifold brochure design. As you can see here, I have added a Empire State Building image here and I have given some business headline where you can add the three text and then I have the second or middle paper, I have just given some subheading and here a special place where you can put the important topic and then you can give your company name and the logo and the, the title or the main uh, heading of your brochure design and I have made one more design which is something like this this color you can just change the same image but different uh, effect on the photo and to make this one you can use any PowerPoint version which is from 2007 onwards and images of the famous building or your business related image that's it you don't need any uh, advanced version or the latest version of PowerPoint to do this one so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the slide size. To change the slide size, go to design, slide size and say custom slide size. And here slide size 4, just click this uh, drop down list and select A4. And by default it is landscape, keep it landscape only and just say OK so you got the a4 size uh, slide then go to insert and i'm going to uh, make a trifold uh, brochure for that i'm going to insert three rectangles so go to shapes select the rectangle from top to bottom and the size is make it 3.62 inches and shape outline make it no outline and select this press ctrl d to duplicate it change the color and put it here again press ctrl d and change this color also so you can see here i have created three rectangles the next i'm going to add one more shape for that go to insert shapes and from the block arrows select this which is arrow pentagon and draw this arrow maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and give some different color this is all temporary colors i'm going to give later i'm going to change it and then go to rotate and you can just say rotate right 90 degrees and right mouse click go to format shape just make a transparent effect a little bit so that we know exactly it is placed in the right position so i'm just going to place this on two rectangles which is orange and green so I'm just going to place it here at the orange first and then drag it increase the size and then you can just drag it down maybe this much size and again if you want to reduce this width you can just drag this the orange point on top something like this so you got this shape here and one more shape i'm just going to add it here for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select which is the right triangle draw the right triangle from this position until here and again give some different color shape outline make it no outline and make sure that it is properly aligned so you can see here the design is ready just make sure that this is not gone inside or outside or you can just zoom it and check see it is somewhere outside so i have to just yeah so this is perfect and then it's time to add some images to it now we need to add the photos uh, on these two uh, shapes so i'm just going to select this particular shape which is the arrow pentagon and then go and select the picture fill by default i have selected this one that's the reason it's coming here or you can just go to insert select from file and select the picture which you have downloaded now you can see here the picture uh, is not properly aligned it is showing uh, from left 
so what i'm going to do just go down here can you see rotate with shape just click on this one so it comes to the right a position and then there's something called the offset here where you can adjust the picture and for example i want to make this empire state building towards the right so i'm just going to move it here something like this you can see here if i want to make it top i can just make it top or bottom so whichever way you want you can just uh, uh, play with the images here and same i'm going to add the image here also the same image so i'll just select the picture and by default i got this picture and i don't want this empastered building to be visible here for that i'm just going to move it more further here can you see here so i just need only this one now again there are a lot of things in powerpoint where you can change the color of the image so you can just go there go to format and you can just see color correction whichever correction you want can you see it's more brighter so any color you can choose it here so here also you can just choose the right color so it gives more brightness to it or if you want to give some different colors also that option is available so depending on your uh, necessity you can change the colors now it's time to change the colors for this rectangle the left side rectangle i'll just go to format shape fill and i'm going to give some dark uh, say blue gray or something this color all right and here i'm just going to give a gradient color i'll just select the gradient color there are four stops i'm just going to delete two stops and one color i'm going to give it white and other color i'm just going to give a light gray color and the direction i'm going to select this one which is linear right so you can see a, a little bit of gray color is there or i can give maybe this gray color also and then this also i'm going to give some different gradient fill for this i can just go and select whichever color i like maybe or i can use the eyedropper and select the color of the sky this color and one color i'm going to select which is somewhat lighter color so you can see here and the direction i can just go and change the direction something like this so this way also you can just change the colors and then uh, i'm just going to add the text to it now so now uh, it's time to add text uh, so for me this is much more lighter color let me just give somewhat a darker color to it i can just go to more color and increase the something from here so it, it is more darker now and then uh, it's time to add the text go to insert a text box and just type your text here i'll just say uh, business and choose the right font and give the same color which color we have used here you can use eyedropper and select this color and i'm going to select century gothic make it bold and increase the size if you want you can give a loose also here so you got this one all right press ctrl d to duplicate it and you can give make it more this one no bold and i'll just say brochure and just place it exactly here let me just bring it more down and then you can give your company here logo company name and logo control d i will just reduce the size i'll just say company name sorry sorry by mistake i did that one so just let me make it normal and put it here and you can add your logo here i'm just going to add a small circle
you can just add the company name and this brochure the headlines whatever you want you can just add it here and below you can add the contact uh, details now the left side of the brochure i'm just going to copy this control d bring it here change the font to white put it in the center i'll just say headline and then you can give more detailed text here let me just again duplicate this control d to duplicate i will just say 01 you can reduce the size and make sure that this is normal and then you can add the detailed text here And this color I'm going to select a uh, off white color or light gray color. And I'm going to highlight this both control D to duplicate it and bring it here. Again, bring it here. And then you have to make sure that this is properly aligned. So this is two, this is three. And then you can add some more detailed text here. Control D to duplicate. Bring it here. I'll just say subheading. Or subheadline, whatever you want to say. You can just say it. Normal. Reduce the size and you can give the detailed text here for that i can just go to insert text box and equals i'm just going to give some latin text white color reduce the size and make sure that both are aligned left and give it here and you can add one more shape which is the rounded rectangles and you want you can just give some important message in this particular box no outline and shape fill as white so you can give some more important information which is the highlight of the brochure you can do so you can see here uh, the design is almost ready and only one thing which is missing is we need to just add the shadow effect. Now to add the shadow effect, I'm going to go to insert shapes and I'm going to select one rectangle and draw the rectangle exactly from the shape till this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to set a gradient fill. For that, I'm going to use two stops the first stop i'm going to make it a black and the second stop i'm going to make it for time being white and the direction i'm going to just change to this direction black should come here and i'm going to select the white make it fully transparent and black just make it a less transparent can you see here now it looks like a folded paper Press Control D, press Control D to duplicate it and put one more here also. So you can see here and this one looks white here for that I'm just going to select the same color which is this color and I'll make it fully transparent. That's it. So the design of the brochure is ready. That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.